Hi everyone, the message you are about to watch is a message preached by Bishop Opu Deli Eze. This message is packed full, it's the, it is anointed, it is fire right, it is loaded and it has the capacity to put you on your throne of enthronement. I want to encourage you as you watch this message, watch it with faith in your heart because God will impact some great measure of anointing in your life. Yokes will be broken, chains will be destroyed, walls will crumble as you watch this message. I want you to watch it with faith in your heart and trust God that every situation in your life will turn around for good in the name of Jesus. Amen. Happy New Year. Alright, I want us to look at the attributes of glory ambassadors. The attributes, please, if you are joining us today, I would like you to avail yourself of the opportunity to get some of the in-depth revelation that we shared yesterday very very profoundly impactful i want you to lay hold on those messages we looked at the the we looked at the encounter with the glory and we looked at the essence of the glory there are about 16 of them and today we are looking at the attributes of glory ambassadors tomorrow we'll be looking at the minister's build and the release of glory and we'll be looking at media and the release of glory. So a whole lot of things we're going to be looking at. Are, are you prepared for that? Praise the Lord. Now turn with me to Exodus 34, verse 29. Exodus 34, and verse 29. And it came to pass, when bosses came down from Mount Sinai, with the two tablets of testimony in Moses' hand, when he came down from the mount, the, that Moses wished not that the skin of his face shone while he talked with them. If you shout your loudest amen, this will be the exact manifestation you will experience. <laughs> Nothing lightens up a man's countenance. Like the rain of glory. When the glory falls on your face, it shines. It glitters. Kato Bahata. Second Corinthians chapter 5. And verse 20. Second Corinthians chapter 5. And verse number 20. Now, then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ that be you reconciled to God. The attributes of glory ambassadors. Before I get to the attributes, I want to define who an ambassador is. Now right. An ambassador is an official diplomatic agent. Get it? Right. An ambassador is an official diplomatic agent who is an authentic representative of his or her own government. That thing is home government, not all, home government. An ambassador is an official diplomatic agent who is an authentic representative of his or her home government. Of his or her what? Home government. Is that okay? So an ambassador is like a miniature president of a country. In a foreign land. He is the man that represents the totality of a country in another place. Now, how does that apply to the king, kingdom? We are told that God is the king of kings and the laws of laws. But in the kingdom of God, as in heavens, we all will not rule as kings. So, God is the king and we are the prince. Now... But God's original intent is for us to inhabit the earth, not manifested as prince, but manifested as kings. Are you following me now? I lay foundation again. I said, the Bible told us 
that God is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And I told us that in the heavenlies, you can't have two kings. You have only one king. And every other man is a prince. Or what? A princess. I'm not talking to somebody here. But because God's original blueprint for us as his prince and princess is for us to inhabit the earth and become not prince but what? Kings. In Revelation chapter 5 verse 10, he says he has anointed us kings and priests and we shall rule not in heaven. We shall rule where? On earth. Come on, talk to me. You are an earth ambassador. You are what? Hello. You are what? You are what? He said, He has anointed us kings. He has anointed us priests. So we have a two barren mantle operating in our life as kingdom ambassadors. We are not only operating on the wings of the kingly operation, we are operating even on the wings of the priestly ordination. Hello. Follow me, follow me. We are entering into the, the inner cross of the matter. Am I talking to somebody here? So, because God's original intention was not for us to be as prince in heaven, He wants us to be the earth as kings. So, He created Eden and sent Adam as the first king. Are you know what I'm saying? But when Adam came to the earth, he misbehaved. So, the CEO of the, 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 the sea of all of the earth was taken from him and was given to Satan. And Satan became the Lord Manna and the king of the earth until Jesus came. Now remember, Jesus was the pattern son sent by Jehovah to raise other pattern son. He was the pattern king raised to raise other pattern king on the earth. Am I talking here? So when he came, he wrestled with the devil and got back the scepter of dominion on the earth. Now, instead of having one king, we have many kings. And all of us have become an extension of God's rulership from heaven to the earth. I prophesy, when this understanding enters you, you cannot be stranded on the earth. Let me hear that again like a thunder. You can never be pitied by any man. No man will pray unnecessary prayer for you. Because you've been anointed as king and priest and you are born to reign on the earth. Someone shall be a ruler. That is why I told us yes, the king's don't bend the decree. Now listen to me. It's a deviation, but it's a deviation that is necessary. That is why one of the genuine proofs of dominion is ability to own a land. What did I say? I challenge everyone that is here, if you don't have, go there, get a land. God is called the Lord of Lords. And the people that own lands are called landlords. So the man that owns your building has become a Lord over you. So you are not yet an ambassador. Every king on the earth must strive. That this is a challenge. Every king on the earth must strive to get a portion of land that carries his name. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What did I say? Is this a surprise to you? I will open Genesis now. You go, you go, you, you just shout. If I if I open Genesis chapter one, I I show you this thing I'm saying. One of the things that I think, you see, 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 eh? that is one where you make you make money and you go to Dubai and waste it, God frowns. You must establish your dynasty as a landowner, as a landlord, because of your possession of land. I'm not saying you're going to stay, but by this auction, by this time next year, you would only have land, you will have buildings. Hey, 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 you will have buildings. You will have lands. If you're a ministry, yeah, and you're still paying rent, I prophesy, even to your permanent side. Stand your feet and say, I hear you. It's a major sign. Of, it's a major sign. Is a what? That is why in Abuja, I've told the church we are we are in, we are looking for twenty what? Twenty what? Because I'm a king, I know. I told them I won't pay five million naira again in that hall. Five million naira for one year. No, it must be a king to touch that kind of money. Five, how many, sir? Prophet Ken. Five million for one year. But I, the, the internal design of my work is expanding. 
I knew I did it because of circumstance. But listen to the king in me says, boy, prepare for 20 plus. The king in me is yelling, hello. I thought I preached that Buddha. I said, don't look at me like that. I'm not a small boy for ministry. Yes, yeah. I know they talk am. Yes, that is the king in me. Because I know my size. Have you just you have your size? Tell someone, this is this thing don't be your size, oh. I prophesy after today, the real you will manifest. The glory of God will define you. Every satanic limitation against your manifestation, I speak, it is crumbling from the roots. Somebody holler, eh uh-huh. So it's a major sign. Back to the topic of the day. So as an ambassador designated by heaven to inhabit the earth, you must have what I call paraphernalia of office. What I call it? You must have attributes. There are something that must define you so men will say, nah, this guy is a glory carrier. Number one. Let's go. Are you ready for your journey? Number one. You must be dead to your own will. Glory is for a dead man. There is no man that lives that carries glory. Do you want glory? Do you want to be recognized as a glory ambassador? Then you must be dead to your own will and alive in divine purpose. Am I talking to something? Church, am I talking? I show you something. Do you remember the story of the Shunammite woman? Do you remember? When the son that came by prophecy died, do you remember? You know, Elijah sent his servant... And gave him a man to, to go and resurrect him. Isn't it? And the servant got to that place. His dead child was. And casted the mantle. And put it everything Elijah taught him to do. But nothing. It was a struggle. Until even when Elijah came himself. He laid himself on the boy. And sneezed seven times into the boy's nostril. And the boy jumped to life. Isn't it? Even though the guy came back to life. But there was a struggle. That was what? I'm going to tell you why. That was one resurrection. Then another resurrection came. The Bible told us that when Elisha died, and his bow was kept in a sepulchre, that there, was a, there were a mob of, of or is it Moabites, that were running away from adversaries. And they carried a dead soldier and threw him inside the tomb. On that few seconds, the man jumped back to life. The first resurrection was struggle because the man that will receive the glory was alive. But because he has died, God does not have any man to contend with his glory. That was why there was an immediate reaction. You didn't hear what I said. Did he cut the revelation? Until we die to self, that his glory takes over, we might not see the full blast of the miraculous. The reason why we don't see the hand of God and signs of God is because the man that will say it was my prayer that did it is still around. I preach, I preach seven days dry faster and I prophesy. And God said, okay, you, well, go ahead and you see your signs very soon. It is your will that we don't, defu- we don't see the full blast. But God is raising a generation of men who will say, God, not my will, but your will. I don't care what happened in the service. Lord, anything you had just to do, let it be that heaven has done it. Am I talking here? That is the secret of miracles in ministry. When the man that will take the glory dies, then God manifests. But as long as we are alive, because of men's ego and praise, you see how God is using that man. See, see, the thing gets into your head, God frowns. Because he told us he will not strive with man. And he will not contend with his glory with what? Am I communicating here? Number one attribute. We must be dead. There is no glory for a man that is alive. Any man that God has ever used mightily, they knew this principle. Any man that God is using now, they knew this principle. 
that the woman will tell you, Hello, you over there carrying the camera. My partner is here. I can see him. My master is here. Please, 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 please. Every man's man gets short. Don't talk because it's at work. Holy Ghost, you are welcome. That is a woman who is not alive. That is the voice of a panting for heaven to invade the earth. And under the spur of the moment, boom, the glory explodes. The cripple starts coming out of their wheelchair. Because it's no longer man now, but God has taken over. Am I talking here? That's the limitation. You, 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 have, you have blocked his way so much that he doesn't even know what to do again. And as long as he said, I will build my church and the gates of her eye. Zechariah 4, 6 says, it is not by might, it is not by power, neither is it by dexterity. Yes, the study books is alright, but when you have done all these things, still remember it is by my spirit. Do you want to carry glory? Major attribute of glory ambassador is that they are dead to their own will. You don't do anything until God has permitted it. You don't have your agenda. God's agenda has become your agenda. You don't just wake up in the morning and start doing anything in church until God has given you a clearance. Men who operate power, operate anointing. Have you ever seen? Paul told us, And I assay to go to Bithynia, but the Spirit of God forbid us. Did you, have you ever heard that place? You will say that the world is crashing, the souls are perishing. I must go about preaching. He wanted to do good. Holy Ghost has said, in as much as you want to do good, but I have not allowed you to go to Bithynia. The Bible said, and the Holy Ghost forbade him. Even if there are some of us today, we'll give you 21 reasons why you must preach. Pastors, it is not every invitation you must go and preach. It could be an invitation to your own burial. It could be an invitation to steal your glory. Before you go and preach, that is why we form association like this, so that we can be able to know one, one or each other, so we can be able to reprimand ourselves and know at least with ninety percent of uh, of reasonability and, and uh, assurance, you know who you are dealing with. It's not every author that says Jesus that Jesus laid the foundation, so that you go and preach and begin look, you begin to look for your anointing. Or you begin to, you, in fact, immediately you go to your church, if it is a church that that that. Ugly things happen. You inherit it. You do what? And this will start to happen. And you will be wondering what happened. My brother, you, 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 you carry some portion of shit from where you went to. And you deposited it on the altar and it is smelling. Did you hear what I said? I wanted to say in the Igbo, but some Igbo people here, eat the current shit. So she take the she see the water. God knows that I don't, I don't, I can't even remember when I preached. I opened my mouth, Papa, can you come and preach? I said, listen to me. How much can you give me? How much you can give me is one million naira. What is it? What is one million at my level? The project I'm pursuing is billions. It's a billions of naira project. I prefer talking to my people than speaking to strangers. I can only come to you if I have a relationship with you. It's either I'm a, I father you or we are close. And I know your ministry. I tell people I value relationship than preaching. I want to know who you are. Because me, I preach. Didn't I preach this morning? Huh? I spoke to you people. Like this one, you are around. I've been teaching you in the, in, the, in the early morning, and I come and preach. This evening, if not, I won't pass a lesson to preach. I will preach again. At least I will preach like go to Abuja. And I will start preaching. As I'm talking to you, my next program, the hands are ready. Every day of my life, I'm what? I'm preaching. So, not in time, this be, ah, man of God, let's go. No, 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 no. If you watch great men of God, they hardly leave their works. Is it available? Is it of the pollen nature? 
The highest they can do is to visit you. And of course, before they visit, there must be a relationship. People who are glory ambassador, they are busy with what God has called them to do. Am I talking to somebody here? Some people say it is pride. Let it be. By the time we get to where we are going, they, you, you come and ask us the way. Very soon you ask us, how did you get to where you are going? Because now is, this was what Papa did 30 years. Another business we are called doing all manner of things. But when he got that momentum and exploded, the, the, the churches lost their members to him. Because you, listen to me, you can't tell a believer to be in a church that is dead. And by the devil's side, there is a church on fire. Listen to me. Even if you carry, even if you carry Bakasi and, uh, and do as get he will, he will jump and pass. Believers, members, don't, don't tell them my story. Oh. They want you to be anointed every, every day. Because that is the only thing that brings them to church. Am I communicating? Must be dead to your will. The men that have preached for you, it was it God that told you to bring them? The men that have preached for you, is it because you saw crowd? A man can have crowd without having content. Did you hear what I said? A pastor can build his ministry on PR and people love him. Because he gives, him, he gives them the leverage to sin under grace. And they will converge. That doesn't make him a man that is profoundly impactful. The man that is preaching on your pulpit, did God send him? Did God tell you, bring prophet Oki? Because for every meeting, there is a man that bears the mantle. If I want to bring ministers here, I said, God, if I'm bringing two people, and listen to me, don't make the mistake of bringing, bringing five preachers in a meeting. For people who are wise bring only one preacher. If not, there will be a clash of revelation. This one is preaching, preaching grace. This one is preaching the law. And at the end, the whole church will get confused. When they go, you start, you start afresh, laboring. You see, these things I'm teaching you, they are very deep. They are the things I know. Look beyond my size, I know things, so. I know things, so. Ah! Oh, why him, ma? When you see me behave the way I behave, or who arrogant, don't worry, him, ma. The things I know have separated me. And God helped me, I knew them on time. I knew them on time. So you should be able to know that. Do you want to carry glory? Die to yourself. Let his will be done. Remember, you are not representing your interest. You are representing the interest of him that called you. I, I, didn't I define who an ambassador is? Are you still an ambassador? Shall glory. glory. I show you a scripture in John. In John chapter 12 verse 24. If you are blessed at all, shout, I am blessed. blessed. This year and last year, oh, which one is powerful? Huh? <laughs> no, but tomorrow you will understand. Heaven will explode here. No, there are some dimensions I have not brought in. I just want to lay foundation. John 12, 24. Kala gadobolobos. Oh, Jesus, blessed be your name. Thank you, my Father. Sweet, precious Holy Spirit. John chapter 12, 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abided alone. But if it dies, it bringeth forth much fruit. So the reason why you are not bearing fruit in ministry is because you have not died. Paul said, and I die daily. Paul said what? Someone say, I die. Say, oh Lord, give me the grace to die daily with you. He said, I die daily. So that the glory of God shall rest upon my life. Number two, another attribute of a glory ambassador. Willingness to carry out the passion of the Father. Even when inconvenient. Willingness to carry out the passion of the Father. Even when inconvenient. God has a passion. 
And until you assess his passion, you can't share in his portion. God has a passion. Until you assess his passion, you can't assess his word portion. What is the passion of God, friends? The passion of God is to reconcile lost souls to him. The passion of son is well, the passion of God is so winning. For he that winneth a soul is what? So if you are a glory ambassador, a major feature of who you are is that you must win souls on a consistent basis. Man of God, excuse me, sir. When was the last time you led sinners to Christ? You can raise money without raising souls. You are a suspect. You have time, you have the gimmicks. You know, for this program, you have no how to collect money from the people. But you don't know how to raise souls. Souls! 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 You see, you see, you see, I, I have an understanding that, that it is a number of stars on your crown that gives you a placement in glory. And I've decided that I will depopulate hell and populate heaven. Shout Amen. amen. Pastor! Don't delegate the evangelism to pastors alone or people. You yourself become an instrument of what? Let everyone around you know that you carry God and you are representing His interest. Through the way you talk, through the way you dress, through the way you behave. Show me a man who is passionate about God and I'll show you a man whose clothes is about to burst. God will anoint you more if you share in His passion. Every time I look at his face, I see tears coming down from his eyes. And he said, who can be a man that will stand in the gap for me? How will God have a man like us on the earth and yet he's looking for a replacement army? I, w- I wonder how Saul felt the day. Prophet Samuel told him, for thy throne has been given to another man. That is the, that is the, that is the, 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 the most powerful height of what degradation. That we are alive. And somebody else has inherited your throne. It will happen to you. Amen. You say you are a pastor. But you don't know you've been retired. Even while you are still in active service. Anytime you preach anywhere. Have passion for souls. Pastors in Zion. Pastors in soul spa. Make soul winning an integral part of your ministration. Don't plan to raise money first. Raise souls. When you raise souls. Souls will raise money. I heard a man of God say that one day Evangelist Raham Bunkin came into Abuja and slept at Hutin. He was en route to one of the northern states for a crusade. And the man of God heard that Kenny Hagin slept in, that uh, Raham Bunkin slept in that hotel. So he went and got the best golden watch. Powerful. And told the owners of the hotels, he said, please, I am paying for this place. Let no man else sleep here until I have slept on the same blanket that house bunker. And he said he got that gold. I've told you many times, don't meet any man of God empty-handed, especially a man that carry water in his pitcher. Don't. It's an error. Carry a seed and carry a jitter in case he delivers. Because every impactful man is a pregnant woman. You don't know when labor starts. He can decide to deliver around you. I'm talking to somebody here. Some of you, what you want is man of God will lay hands on you, pray for you. But we that have understanding, any time I meet men that I believe in, I don't only go for prayer, prayer, prayer. I sow a seed. To stay up the flow. And I get my rotting part to write down what they will say. For I will anchor on the mountain. And I will train my ears to hear what God will tell me. That's the kind of generation. Lay hands. Impart me. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Power of seed is stronger than prayer. You can see. You can see and break your siege. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't pester men around. Pray, 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 pray. I don't pray in. And the man of God, ah, Sir Nilda, Ahinelda, 
when you saw the golden watch and bogged his head. Dear Lord Jesus, give him a passion, give him a portion of the passion that you fed on the cross. Please give him a bit of it on the earth. And he laid hand and he passed out. Do you know the passion that Christ had? That he will conquer the whole earth, reconciling the souls of the sons back to their father. And listen to me. Do you know, do you know what it means to share the passion for lost souls? Bunky fills the largest stadium in the whole earth with millions of people. He has been here in Omaya now. You remember what happened? No man has ever gathered that crowd in this land. Now the man's ministry changed because he is sharing a portion of Christ, which is winning souls. What is your drive in ministry? What is your drive? Is it to build houses? Have cars? Appear in posters? Everybody claps for you. My passion is to use this anointing. Thank God I'm a prophet of God. Miracles happen, things happen. But it doesn't move me. It is not the height of it all. It's in what you have produced with what God has given to you. How many souls are you winning? And you must not be a pastor to win souls. Your everyday life as a child of God must win souls. People should look at you and see Christ in you. Am I communicating here? It's very, very important. This generation has lost this thing for sinners. This generation has lost this thing. In fact, we are taking out the color of sinners. The, the, the world is evading the church and the church is going into the world. But there must be a distinction. I pray for you today. May you catch a fresh fire of evangelism. Amen. Is that how you can say amen? amen? That your heart is troubled when you see a harlot. That your heart is troubled when you see a brother drinking and smoking the stupor. That your heart is spitting when you see a gay, gay, you know, he's, she sleeps with everybody in the street. You should summon courage because that is the kind of people that Jesus died for. Hello! Let it be that at least you minister to him or her. Let it be registered at least you tried. Am I communicating? One more time, I pray for you. Receive a fresh fire for soul winning. Yeah. I didn't hear that amen like a thunder. Yeah. I didn't hear that amen like a thunder. So pastors here, leaders here, always have opportunity to lead men to Christ. Always have opportunity. I was listening to Padeboye. So he was invited by president to preach somewhere. And after he preached, he gave altar call. And people gave their life to Christ. And one man asked him, ah, Papa, you even gave altar call. He said, am I a fool? He said, am I a fool? How can I get this opportunity and I won't lead men to Christ? That was what Papa said. This, look at the thinking of Padeboye. At that level. You that is starting. How many members do you have? How much have you seen? This was the man that stood on, 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 on the Holy Ghost ground and said, I need people who will give me 100 billion naira. Now, instantly they raised 150. Cash. And, 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 and the Nigerian press went mad. Didn't you hear it? You see this one, I say 100,000, I will praying for people to come. And I won't win souls. What have I seen? Hundred billion, they want to build a five kilometer uh, 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 auditorium where you can, you can even use plane and fly inside the church. You know, the thing will be too large. I wonder why don't, what they have is already intimidating. That is what God can do for you when you're a God pursuer. You are still you are still you are still managing one car. And you can't win souls. What are you doing? People that have got to resort are doing some things we are not doing. Press went mad. If you see how people give money, billions, without stress. I don't know whether they have started building it now, or very soon they start building it. And I will be part of it. I will be part of it. Will you be part of it? That is how it is done. I don't let you say you think I'm a mugu, eh? I will preach before presidents, and I won't give out a call. If he didn't do it, then why, why, why did he come there? Who is, he, who is he representing? I preach and people fall on their seat and break their chair. But how many people saw Jesus? How many people related with the kingdom under your preaching? Am I talking here? Lift up and say, my father, give me a fresh passion for soul winning. Pastors, don't be, a, don't be under pressure to prophesy and raise money. 
and you forget to make other call. If you go for program and your, your host is warning you, tell him you have your flight ticket. If you don't allow me to operate God, or the way God lives with I have my word, flight ticket, I will go back. Don't allow, don't allow people that host you to put under pressure. Man of God, man of God, man of God, we have this project. Man of God, you, they will worry you and worry you, but you don't even have time to pray again. Or you'll be trying to find a, a gym you will play to make sure you get money from people. Instead of spending time to hear from him. Because the man has given you pressure. Pastors, am I talking? You know, I know these things now. Prophet, can you understand? But I have decided I won't be. If I'm coming to you, listen to me. Now listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. If you want to host a man of God, you honor. Before he comes, go to the church I can bring on the radio and keep for him. That is, that is ministerial ethics. Don't bring a man of God to your church. I said, I will give you from money you raise. Are you doing kabu kabu? Are you a criminal? What if God didn't lead him to raise money? Does it mean you will, you will send him back empty handed? Go punish and punish your church. Mama, you know it's a policy here. When we wanted to bring Abuye, already we have written his checks. If you want to bring Papa, any of them that I want to bring here, the money is already down. So the man can have liberty and bless the church. Not to raise money, raise money, they will, they will behead the church. Because the man is under pressure. Very possible to start thinking, nah, if, if, if I don't raise money, this man don't go say to me, fine up. Make I act. Make I do what? And they act, 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 act of God's will for the program. And the people are, 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 are malnourished. Pastor, I'm telling you, if you want to bring any man of God to your church, keep his honorario down. If it is one million, keep it down. Whether he raises money or not, what you are looking for is not what he is preaching. It's a portion of the deposit of his anointing on your altar. Because if he matches here, some elements, some oaths of his impartation will drop that will make your work easy. Imagine a devil on my altar. Imagine a devil here. And I say, oh, Papa, you devil raise money. Go, which one would I use to say it? What I need for him to say, somebody wherever you are, lift up your hands. And I stand seven days from now. Breakthrough. The man that has dangerous breakthrough anointing. That is a hit. Even I will gather all the handkerchief he used. After bathing, I will use it to clean my wife. And I make sure that after blessing him, I will cause some of you to bless him very well. He must leave all my hair with enough. That is how to turn it to blessing. Stop this prayer mentality. It creates some usual pressures that makes us to lose the will of God. Am I talking here? Sit down. Praise the Lord. Are we making progress? Three. He must live a consecrated life. Another attribute of a glory ambassador. I didn't say raising money is bad though. At times God can lead a man. But it should not be the cross of the matter. Hello. It should not be what? So that will balance it very well. Number three. Lives a consecrated life. The level of glory you carry is a reflection of the consecration you observe. The level of glory you carry is dependent on the level of consecration you observe. I found out that there is a link between consecration and higher manifestation. And the price for genuine power is purity. Holy man of God. Holy God. Holy angels. So the word holy is descriptive of a character that must be consistent in the life of a called man. Are you know what I'm saying here? Holy. That word is descriptive, isn't it? It shows an attribute that must be repository in the life of a man. Whom God will use. Listen to me. If you sleep with women and prophesy, you are prophesying from the womb of Jezebel. When you drink alcohol and molest the church with a false and pseudo oppression, you are speaking for your father, who is Satan. Who is the master of falsehood? 
Even Jezebel has her own prophets. And she has fed them with lies. The gospel we know is the gospel of purity. It's the gospel we know. It's the gospel that puts a yoke on you. Even though the yoke is, is easy. But the yoke determines the boundaries of oppression. I saw in Psalm 45 and 7. For thou loveth righteousness. And thou hatest iniquity. Therefore God thy God has anointed you with oil above thy fellows. Why was he anointed above every other man? Because he hated iniquity and he hated sin. How can you carry glory? How can you gl- carry glory and carry sin? I believe that in this mountain, in this many days, most of us should go on a soul searching. I want to make heaven. I don't know about you. Nothing else. Nothing else moves me in the kingdom except to be in covenant with God. We need to go on a soul search. God, is there any Babylonian oppression I have employed in the Zion kingdom? The Babylonian oppression are the worldly system that is are, are in anti-oppression against the workings of God in Zion. What kind of lies are you telling under the Holy Ghost? Little testimony you exaggerate so that people will believe that God is working with you. Some of us come to pulpit and share testimonies that didn't happen. Do you know why I call people to them when I call them? So that if the person is there, he can dis- disprove me. That's what, if you watch me, I say, you, didn't this happen? You say it happened. So that people who say, I flattered them with what didn't happen. Most of us, because of sheer of our, the, the pressure of acceptance and for people to clap for us, we begin to do some things that are anti-covenant. Let me tell you you must be holy. I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing you. Consecrated life. That was why in all the temptation, the three are Jesus. He was not able to fail because his consecration became the pillar of his security. He was consecrated. He lived a pure life. Every great man, Elijah was so pure that he separated himself to the mountains. He dwelt there perpetually. Because he doesn't want the consecrations of men. That is why he can say, if I be a man of God, let fire fall. Because he has possessed the very essence of God and the very nature of God. This little sex has killed us. This little what? It has killed us. Nothing has, nothing has robbed power from the entire church, from the prison church in Nigeria, like sex and fornication. Adultery and fornication. The lies and deception. A brother will do something with another brother. You, 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 you will defraud the brother in the name of the Holy Ghost. We don't know who else to trust. Church will count you and give you money to run things because you think it is church and it is no one's money. You will mess it up and come and tell lies and still think you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are born again. If you want to see the full blast operation of God's glory, then we must go back to the war of the cross. We must go back to what? We must go back to us. I don't care what your friends are doing. On that day we shall stand before him all alone. And with your mouth you would say what you have done. Where is the consciousness of purity in the church? That's why there's so much deception. So much deception. This, for people neglect the authentic and they run after the fake. Because their minds have been warped. That is a perversion of the soul. Am I complicated here? But I pray for you. After today, the Lord will increase your holiness level in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me hear that amen like a thunder. Amen. Four, pursues divine assignment with tenacity. The attributes of glory ambassadors. I, have, uh, I don't know why this thing is coming to me here. There is something, so God is also me. If you are here and you still watch pornography... There is, there is a pastor here. There is a woman of God here. The Satan that is eating you up is internet pornography. With your phone, you lock your door and you watch it. There is a pastor here, you watch blue film. But God said, stop. You cannot watch those things and see, see vision. The way you want to see vision. Because there are three gates a prophet should guide, or a child of God should guide. The eye gate, the ear gate, the, the, the mouth gate, and the heart gate. How many gates? Can we mention them? Can we say it again? 
Very, very important. Especially those of you that follow the prophetic. If you want to maintain the sanctity of the eye gate, avoid what you mind what you watch. The Lord said there are people here who are having private struggle with pornography. You have it on your phone, you are sitting on you lock your door and do it. I, I say, repent. If you say amen. amen. May God help you. If you still don't see me after service, come and see me. So that I will pray for you and that you'll be broken. There's somebody is a struggle. Blue film, you enjoy it. God said, stop. So that your life can be helped. So that I hear you. Pursue divine assignment with tenacity. And urgency. Pursue divine. Oh God, did you Have you tell somebody there is no more time? I'm not hearing you. Tell somebody there is no more time. So we need to pursue divine assignment with tenacity and urgency. John chapter 9, 4 and 5. John chapter 9, 4 and 5. I must walk the words of him that sent me. Remember, an ambassador is one that is sent. Isn't it? I must walk the words of him that sent me. While it is day, the night cometh when no man can walk. As long as I am in the world, I am what? I am what? I am what? Pursue divine assignment with tenacity and urgency. There is no greatness for a lazy man in ministry. Did you hear what I said? There is no greatness for any man in any facet of endeavor. Persistency, consistency, hard work is the fulcrum upon which greatness revolves. Am I communicating here? I, I, I have seen I have seen the, the, the labor operation of Bishop or David Oyelebo. And some other guys have this man they labor 24 hours round the clock. And that is why you can now doubt the proof on ground. That you roll around till five o'clock. That is this why you won't, you won't pray, pray in the night. People that are great in ministry, they, they stand on their toes like this. They don't sleep. They don't have any spare moment. They don't walk the streets. The streets of Omaha looking for ah. Now nah, it's three months old. I've not visited Mr. James. Today I'll visit him. You are a lazy bone. And you don't have ministry. Father, you are satisfied the ministry of your father. Whose business is Toronto and big business people that are busy, they get busy with God. They get busy pursuing God with all their heart. This is why you are walking everywhere. That is why you are not anointed. When you come to the pool, you talk empty. You, ca- you can't break the death of revelation without persistence. Because the, the, the golden things of the Spirit are hidden in the womb of persistency. You don't break it. This is why you read, uh, a month you read one book. A month you manage to fa- fast two days. I want to be anointed like other men of God. It will happen. Because God does not reward mediocrity. What did I say? Say, say let them hear your voice. You must pursue assignment. What is pastor doing on bed by 8 o'clock? You should be in the office. If nobody, if nobody is there for you to cancel, start praying and start studying. 1 o'clock you are still in the house trying to go to office. Is that how you become a great pastor? One o'clock, you are still in the house. Trying to take your bath and go to church. You cannot get the level of result of great many ministry until you approach ministry as business. Jesus said, I must go about doing my father's business because the night comes. Our lack of this good attitude is the reason why we can't access open heaven. You must, a pastor must have an office time. You must be in your office, dressed in your suit, ready for today's work. If nobody calls, you pray and go and study. But let God see that you are in your place so that your consignment will locate you in your assignment. You come to the church whenever you want to come. General Vasia, just want to come. Check, walk around and go back and go and eat pepper, fish pepper soup. Or a milli soup. But you know a milli soup? Prophet Ken, Enugu. So say, I hear you. Nonsense. You will go far. 
won't go far. Eight o'clock, you should be in the office. And I'm talking to I'm talking to my pastors. Eight o'clock, you should go to church and sit down. Fully dressed with your iPad. If you are not studying, be praying. Be doing something for the Lord. I pray for you. May you see life as business. May God give you the urgency to deliver results. If you had me, you wouldn't sit there and say amen. amen. Number one now. Number five. Must dwell consistently in God's presence. You must dwell consistently in God's presence. The first genuine reason that God calls us is to be with Him. The first genuine reason that God called us for is to be with Him. Now, turn with me to Matthew chapter 3, verse 14. I want to show you something. Hello. Heaven smile to somebody and tell him he's alive. I'm not hearing you. Smile to somebody by your side. Tell him oh, Jesus is alive. I heard the Lord say that I'm anointing men with fresh passion. Is it? Eh? Some of you, by the time you preach on, on your church on Sunday, people will say, what, is, what has happened to our pastor? The way you'll be talking, because you'll be full of passion and drive. They will see the urgency that something has happened to you. If you are the one I'm talking to, the rest of you that say, I hear you. Because you can't hear this kind of things and remain at that level. Mark chapter 3 and verse 14. And he ordained twelve that they should be with him and that he might send them. Hello. Ordination was to be with him. Commissioning was on the wings of on the wings of you know probability. What moves the heart of God is to stay with his man. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow. What makes you an act? Ah, do you know why Jesus loved John so much? John will always put his ear on the heart of Jesus. In other words, Jesus, what is your heartbeat that I would do it? He would do No wonder he reappeared to him in Revelation and gave him the revelation of the end time. Because he was a man passionate about the desires of Jehovah. Listen to me, pastors. The reason why you are, for, we are you're falsely called is not to preach. The reason why you are called is not to come and raise money. The reason why you are called is to be with him. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? To do what? God values you be with him than you going to preach. Because the outcome of you going to preach is, demand, is dependent on how quality time you have spent being with him. And he called them that, so that they would be with him, so that he might. That might miss what probability. He might send you or refuse to send you. Because many we are called, but only few we are sent. So, we must cultivate the attitude of dwelling in God's presence. How do I dwell in God's presence? Spend time in his world. Spend time in worship. Most of us here, we have dry worship life. Dry worship life. You rep God in prayer. You rep God what? You come into a are you talking to a dead God? No praise. No worship. Don't you know that it's a protocol of entering into his presence? With joy shall I enter. With great with the happiness. How do you some say? With thanksgiving and with what? There is a protocol. You your own, you remove yourself. Likato, this demon was that is a God. Lakato Braka. Are you talking to an idol? That was I said. Some of us we rep God, we are. We rep God, we are in prayer. Because there is no due process. There's no due process. There is a way you come into his presence. You lift up his hands. I want some of you here. Your poster shows me your worship life. And there is no genuine worshiper who is not a genuine carrier of his presence. Every worshiper is a carrier of God's presence. Some of you are looking at me, now nah, Papa is singing now. Nah. The kind of song he sings now, nah, I don't even know. Something has happened to me, oh. I am, I am breaking depths in the, in the spirit. I am knowing some things. 
So you see me sing some songs. I am working on myself. Must I be a choir master to know songs? Must I be a man to sing? God, it is not the dexterity of the voice that God anoints. It is the connectivity of the heart. That is the, that is the essence of genuine worship. If your heart is connected to Him, He anoints it. I've seen people who have good voices, but they don't, they are not, they don't have unction on their voice. If I see your worship life, then I see the quality of glory you will carry. He wants to be worshipped. He wants you to praise Him. Heaven and earth adore Him. Angels bow before Him. You are beautiful. At least you are not talking to your, you are not talking to your brother. You are talking to God. He wants to be worshipped. So he won't end in worship. He wants to worship. Adore Him. Worship Him. Then... You cannot begin to enter into the realms of what? Warfare. Am I talking to somebody here? May your worship life increase. Yes. I didn't hear that even like a thunder. Yes. Most of the times I don't know. I do this. Most times I reflect on my work with God. This morning I, I, we were dressing up. I said, baby, I just remember we are God. I did it. Like, and immediately tears filled my eyes. I said, I, said I, I used to be a bad boy. Very bad boy. Because if you are not in Christ, you are a bad boy. If you don't know him, you are a bad boy. But look at what grace has turned me into. You know, I, I, it suddenly dawned on me that the difference between me and that man that is about to be shot in a few minutes is grace. Most of the time we don't remember these things anymore. We, we don't remember where he picked us from. You have become, you know, Holy Ghost in church that you are mentioning people's spirituality. The one looking at that man, he's no longer on fire. He's on fire. Are you, are, you, are you Holy Ghost? If you remember where you have been without him, most times he makes you to come into his presence to seek more of him. There is no great man anywhere. Any great man is a man greatly helped by God. If God helps you, you become great. So you should have, you have, you should have the ability to know that there is somebody that is high ahead of you. And when you worship him, he reveals himself more to you. Some will say, Amen. Am I communicating here? Am I communicating here? I don't remember it. So some batteries we made and some, some of my friends didn't return and died. And I slept in a place. If, 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 if it was not God that kept me down that, I wonder whether you have seen a prophet in me. I wonder whether you have seen me to marry today. Today we did some bad moves. We wanted to go into bush. Another mafia. Mafioso in Absu. And somehow God granted our cars. And the guys that went, three of them died in the bush. And the bus with the prayer of my father and my mother kept me in the park. I slept in that park in Okigwe. From school, we have about seven about to become mafians in school. But God kept me. You, you, know, you, you don't remember these things anymore. I made the three with your brothers. In the Mecca them. Now they were, they were the one leading me to Bush. The car, we came into a when the, the car grounded. In 12 midnight, we, we slept we slept in the... You know that bus stop, you know, inside... Uh, before you reach up, there is a central bus stop there. That was where we slept. And the policemen who came there and slashed this uh, oper- SARS and, and spread torch inside that place. We were there, but they couldn't see us. I knew there was something that kept me. That was where I knew that the hand of God... Because if they had got to that night, they would have said that we are hand robbers. Because we didn't have any school ID on ourselves. Most times you will forget where God picked us from. Picked us from. Forget where God picked us from. That is why you can come into his presence with ego. See, God cannot anoint a proud man. I, rem- I suddenly remember that in this morning and tears filled my eyes. As if not for God. If not for God. If not for grace. You know, most times when people offend us, we find it difficult to forgive. Behaving as sin we have not seen before. As if we have not seen before. For many have come short of his word. Glory. Am I talking to somebody here? 
These are the things that keep men. If they open up and tell you their stories, what they used to do, where they used to be, where they would have been without God. And you come into God's presence and talking to Him as if He, he owes you any duty to bless you. Ratata, release that thing though before you say, God will punish you. Listen to me. If you threaten Him, He will postpone the door of visitation. So, of course, instead of praising Him, we are protesting. God, three months old. I want to have a an issue, my change your church. In your prophet told people, more men in two weeks may relocate here. You know, some people threaten us and God as if we are gods. We are only God's oracle. We decree by faith, but you need to actualize it by consistency. Am I talking here? Yeah! Amen. So when you see us carrying God and following God, I know, I know, I know exactly where we are coming from. It was only God that has helped us. Help me tell somebody, it is only God that has helped us. You are not talking. Say, it is only God that helped us. Praise the Lord. Six, must be attentive to divine instruction. Must be attentive to divine instruction. Must be attentive to divine instruction. You must be attentive to divine instruction. Everybody turn with me. I show you and I will close. Leviticus chapter 9 verse 6. Are you heavy? Have I overfed you today? Should I go on? Leviticus 9 verse 6. Hello? Leviticus what? 9 verse 6. It says, And Moses said, this is the thing which the Lord commanded that you should do, and the glory of the Lord shall appear. Billy, ability to adhere to instruction introduces glory. Why most people in ministry don't see glory is because they don't adhere to instruction. Do you want those? He said, this is what the law. So, your this responsibility now is to decode and find out what the law has what? Instructed. For anything God instructs, glory backs it up. Don't go and build university because your men are building university. If not, nobody will be admitted. You go and build hospital, maybe your first son will be the first to be admitted in the hospital. Listen to me. I've come to learn in ministry there is no basis for competition. Is it ministry? Ministry is turn by turn. Did you hear what I said? That is why if you enter into your season, don't talk down on men of God. Because those men you talk down in the next five years, God has visited them. You see this thing? Of course, I don't want to mention them. But there are ministers who we are very powerful in the last five years. Now, they are there, but we are no longer hearing anything. I don't want to call any name. But before us, a church like Lord Jesus just came Buai and took over Nigeria. Everywhere, even in no man here. Now, do not miss it springing up powerfully. I think the revival is in that church now. You, you have to accept it or not. It's true. You have to accept it that a nature is leading a revival. As long as ministerial operation in Nigeria is concerned. Ten years ago, we knew he was around. But this level of glory was not on him. He now talks to presidents and travel with them. He, in fact, he's the landlord of everywhere. But in the next five years, now people like us will take over. But that is true. I, I know. I know it. I know my blessing to Igbo men. I know it. I know it. In the next few years, now, that is why we are warming up. And we are celebrating them. Don't attack men who are manifesting. So into their lives, celebrate them. This thing is turn by turn, no? I prophesy you will get to where you are going. Your star will manifest. The glory will take you to where you are going. Lift up your voice and shout your head, amen. That is how many it is. Don't kill yourself today. If not, you won't see the rain in tomorrow. Before your manifestation come, prepare yourself. When opportunity means preparation, it was it equals uncommon explosion. Heavy test of the work on yourself. 
So that when this stage is set for you to manifest, people will drink from you. Don't go to the stage empty. That is why God is taking time to make sure that you are loaded. I told Mama today, I said, we are like, we are like spiritual uh, fathers and mothers whose breasts are very big. Because we have a lot of people who are giving suck to. I told Mama, and Mama said, Daniel, do you know something? Any woman that is giving the baby suck, it's well. For the, milk, for the milk of the breast to do what? Women, am I not? Is it not correct? Because if you don't eat well, the thing won't flow. What am I trying to say? Every pastor is a mother. And you breastfeed people that sit under you. Then if you want the consistency of the breast milk to flow, feed well. Feed well. So that the water can be more I will make it again. I'm not going to I prophesy, your milk will be full of bread. Your bread will be full of milk. If you show them, man, God is breaking you to a new level. People will not sit under you and feel dry. Nothing makes a member to change church like dryness. Dryness. Be a man whose pitcher is full of water. So, and thou shalt see a man who has a pitcher and a water, then follow him. So what commands men's followership is when they see a man with pitcher and water. Hello. I pray for you. I see a fresh fire. I sense I lack all to my hand. I hear the Lord say, men that will rock their generation will manifest on this mountain. If you say amen, something is about to happen. I prophesy God is breaking every limitation in your life. I prophesy the glory of God will give you a fresh evidence. Let me hear your amen like a thunder. So we are working ourselves. As of now, we have 44 books. So that by my time, my time comes, I will have about 100 books. Where I can't get to, my books will get there. This is what you need to, you need to come with your fruit when your, set, your season says. Papa Ernesto is doing everything. His books everywhere, television everywhere, church everywhere. Do you know that level now? He can plant church anywhere. People that watch him on television is more than people that come to his church. And he's planted in Oka and Calabana. That is his season. That is what? Season. And he's a wise man. Now, nobody knows you. Walk on yourself. The season must come. Because God is not a partial God. What he does for one, he does for all. I'm not with somebody here. Listen to me. Some of you, two, three, four years from here, your own season will set. Oh my God. Let me hear that demon like a thunder. If you stand up and shout where well, God will do something with you. Some say, I hear you. Somebody's season will set after this meeting. But get prepared. Sharpen your grammar. Sharpen your dress. Sharpen your holiness. Study more. Eat more. Look for things. Look for impartation. Sit on that great man. And have patience. And your time will come. And have patience. And your what? Don't be in the brain. If you see a man God is using, you are angry. Anger doesn't bring... In fact, anger will postpone it all. If you get angry, God, even the one you have, you lose it all. Celebrate people who are ahead of you. I know people who are ahead of me. When I see that, I say, God bless you, sir. And I do something with humility. If they say, please, this is where I am now. If there is anything God is saying, let me know. So I can ask. I taught us about teachable, uh, teachable word, spirit. As a requirement for what? Inversion of what? Glory. You must have a teachable spirit. You must recognize that you have need. Any man doing better than you in any area of your life knows what you don't know. And it is humility you say, please teach me. It doesn't reduce blood in your, in your cell. So I hear you. Well, the things I hate about emo pastors that we are too, we are too, we are too proud and arrogant. We are too what? A Yoruba pastor, if, if there is a, a friend of his that is running a meeting, he will close his meeting and tell his church to go to that church. My friend is having a meeting. Every one of you should go to that church. Can you do it? No, my. 
The pastor will say, ah, the reason why they came is because the pastor has lost anointing. He doesn't have any message again. You can't see redeem and winner's program clash. Did you hear what I said? I believe they have a way of doing that thing. If, if Holy Ghost Congress is holding first week of December, then Shiloh must hold second week or third week. And that is why they have mutual respect for one another. Where their camps in is in, in Nassau State. If you see uh, Goshen here, then you see Holy Ghost Grant, the other side. In fact, the, the pastors of Redeem lodge in Goshen, in Goshen Lodge in Abuja. That's the, that's the level of understanding of this man. And we are talking about apostolic revival. Or do we stop with only one another? Or do we begin to recognize that among us all, one must be a captain? You know, yeah, it will it has killed us. And we carry it into church. That's why we will have a man like me here and pastors won't come to church. They look at me and say, I am a prophet, don't we? You might not deny repent, but you don't know my debt. You don't know my debt. You don't know that something happened to me. Before, for you to know, you need to get close to me. If not, you see, because of the way, you might not really know. And that is the deception of this land. How can we be running pastors' conference and this kind of thing? Imagine the whole pastors gather here. I tell you, revival will start in the southeast. Well, they prefer to go to empty places and get empty messages only to study and preach. Am I talking here? And I prophesy. What God will use us to do in the next few years? Who no no go no one? That amen is looking for. Am I communicating? Am I communicating? Are you enjoying it? Seven, and I conclude. You must be able to reproduce the works of the kingdom that sent you. You must be able to reproduce the works. When the kingdom that you represent sent you, it sent you because there is a purpose that must be accomplished. John chapter 5, 19. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees the Father do. Are you with me? For what things soever he doeth, this also doeth the Son likewise. We must have the ability to reproduce the works of the kingdom. Now, quickly write down the works of the kingdom that you are sent to perform on the earth. If you are not doing these things, then you don't have the attribute of glory ambassador. What are the works that God has sent you to do? Number one, just A, that's 7A. To do good for the benefit of others. To do good for the benefit of others. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good. So you were sent here as an ambassador to do good. Let me tell somebody, my friend, do good. Your, it's your ministry producing good. Your ministry will produce good, and that gives you a sign of glory world ambassador. Number two, number B, that's B, to minister to the poor, needy, fatherless, widows, and strangers. To minister to the poor, widows, to minister to the poor, needy, fatherless, widows, and strangers. Psalm 41 verse 1. Blessed is he that considered the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Two, the Lord will preserve him and keep him alive, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. And thou will not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. So the kingdom sent you here to minister to the poor, needy, fatherless, widows, and strangers. C. To bring consolation to the broken hearted. To bring consolation to broken hearted. Can we say that? Church, I'm not hearing you. Luke chapter 4 verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me 
because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me. Remember, I'm telling you the responsibilities that the kingdom of God expects you to meet on the earth. If you are a glory ambassador, then there are things you must accomplish for the sent government. For the government of the kingdom of God that sent you. When you are bereft of this accomplishment, they, they didn't send you. Am I talking here? The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me, you we are sent here my friend, to heal the broken hearted. Did you see it? To preach deliverance to the captives. For those of them who tell you that deliverance doesn't exist, you better tell, you better tell them there are false prophets. Even Jesus did what? He, brought the, he taught us what? Casting and binding. He did what? Praise the Lord. To preach what? Deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set a liberty them that are bruised. Say, I hear you. D. To be sought and light of the world. I'll show you in that scripture, I think in, in Matthew, that we are the sought and the light of the world. That how can a man kindle his land and hide it under a bush? Praise the Lord. Let me ask somebody, blossom from where you are. I'm not hearing what you're saying. Then E. To preach and perform the ministry of reconciliation. To preach and to perform the ministry of what? Reconciliation. Can we say it? I believe you've been blessed by that word of enthronement that came your way. Suddenly in my heart, I believe that your life will never be the same again. In case you're out there, you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Quickly, I would like you to chant this prayer. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you. I come to you, a sinner. A sinner. I confess. I confess. From today, from today, I receive you. I receive into you into my life. Into my life as my Lord. As my Lord, and personal Savior. And personal Savior. Never to sin again. Never to sin again. Congratulations. Amen. You are now sanctified, blood bought, and anointed for exploit. Amen. I want to speak specially to those who listen to the word of God. I declare by the mercies of God yes. that every yoke of limitation in your life is broken. Amen. I speak that the land where you are will not deny you your treasure. Amen. I declare when it is your time to be blessed, it will not be negotiated. Amen. I decree by the mystery of the word of God, yes. may you have access to divine inheritance. Amen. I declare healing to your body. Amen. I declare fruitfulness to everybody's situation. Amen. Receive grace for financial empowerment. Amen. Go and excel. Amen. Subdue the land. Amen. Manifest dominion. Amen. In the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you for watching the message of enthronement. And I believe that miracles are already happening in your life right Hallelujah. now. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to follow us on Facebook and on other social platforms. You can see the links scrolling on your screen right now. Yeah. And the headquarters of the church is located at Zion Heritage and Miracle Ministries of Voice of Nigeria Way, Lue Airport Road, Abuja. And we have uh, so many other branches. The branches and their addresses will also be scrolling on your screens right now. So stay connected with us and remain, remain lifted, lifted for life.